Thanks for joining us for another episode of Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement. I'm here at the News Forum where all voices matter. Another in our series of interviews with CPC leadership candidates, Boom and Bust is pleased to welcome Roman Baber. He's a former Ontario MPP. He's also a lawyer by profession and lives in Toronto. Welcome to the program, Roman. Good to be with you, Tony. So I'll ask the generic question. Obviously, uh, you can tell our viewers uh, why you're running for leader of the Conservative Party. Look, I'm running to restore Canada's democracy, opportunity, and, and trust in government. Um, I came to Canada when I was 15. We didn't have a cent to our name, but I've been very blessed with everything our country has to offer. And I stood up for Canadians when it wasn't popular in early January 2021. I opposed my own government against the onerous public health restrictions at the time that have proven to be so devastating, namely the lockdowns. And I'll continue uh, to, to defend Canadians and still re restore rights to every single Canadian uh, I've also been blessed with every opportunity, as I said, and I don't want to see Canadian opportunity erode. And I believe that I'm in a unique position to unite the Conservative Party and bring uh, authenticity to lead it to victory. And uh, go through, obviously, you've just mentioned uh, some, uh, some aspects of why you're running, but uh, why don't you go through some of the themes of your campaign? Absolutely. Look, uh, I believe that uh, Canada's democracy is being eroded. And I have a unique perspective on democracy. I was born in the former Soviet Union, wouldn't leave until I was almost nine. And so I know how precious and how uh, fragile our democracy is. We're still treating 15% of Canadians like second class citizens. We see government overreach and censorship uh, without any justification, primarily designed to silence its opponents and critics. It's unthinkable that government would decide what we can and cannot see online. So I would propose to repeal all federal censorship legislation uh, defend regulated professionals and their ability to speak freely without reprisal, uh, restore uh, parliamentary democracy by decentralizing power away from the PMO, uh, having a serious conversation with uh, uh, social media companies not to infringe on our ability to speak, and defund and free media from any independence on government to assure we have free speech in government to defend our democracy. Mm. And uh, let's uh, drill down a little bit more uh, because you, you have been, as, as you have been on this program already, highly critical of the pandemic uh, management by various governments. So uh, can you tell our audience a little bit about how you would like to do things differently or would have done things differently in the past? Well, first of all, you had to entertain opinion. And there was essentially no opinion allowed uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, which in my view led to disastrous consequences. We know, according to Statistics Canada, that the access deaths under age 65 are considerably greater from other causes other than COVID. We know that statistically, uh, the illness is regretfully very dangerous to folks that are closer to end of life. More than 80% of those that passed away are in long-term care homes. But instead of focusing protection on vulnerable and building healthcare capacity, we locked down 37 million Canadians with disastrous consequences. We have more than 800,000 surgeries missed. Uh, we now saw an article just a couple of days ago, we have a record death from surgeries delayed in Ontario. We missed more than a million cancer screenings in Ontario alone during the first year of the pandemic. We created a mental health catastrophe uh, that is still gripping our nation, particularly our children. We convinced little children that if they play with another child in close proximity that someone might die. Uh, what I propose is that we use fair data, allow for dissenting opinions, instead of uh, being subjected to being gagged by cancel culture that led to, I believe, one of the greatest disasters in Canadian public policy. Um, you uh, also, obviously, whenever you're running for something like this, uh, you have to concern yourself with the economy. So I do want to spend a, a chunk of time on that. We're almost at commercial break now. We've got about 30 seconds left, but why don't you uh, start with some of your economic platform and we'll, we'll return to it after the break. Absolutely. I have a philosophical approach to the economy and that is to basically let people work, let Canadians work, something they already love to do, something that our government doesn't like too much. All right. Well, we're going to take a brief break. We have as our guest, uh, Roman Baber. He is a a leadership candidate for the Conservative Party of Canada leadership, which uh, the announcement will be made on September 10th. Uh, so it's coming up fast. Uh, Roman, thanks for joining us. We'll be back with you after this break. Please stay with us. 
We'll be right back. <laughs> 